Hi guys, my name's Emma and let's talk about film school. <laughs> uh, this is a video that was really highly requested um, from you guys and also a video that my Patreon picked for me to do next. I feel like normally in these videos I would say, you know, disclaimer, uh, this is my own opinion, blah, 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 but I actually feel like I have a really good background for this one, although it is disclaimer, this is my own opinion. I actually went to two film schools, so I thought that this would be really interesting because one I absolutely loved and the other one I didn't like. So I feel like this would be really helpful for you guys who are getting into a film school or are trying to look for places or are deciding whether they want to go or not. Um, this should give you a really good idea of what to look out for. So the two film schools I want to talk about is, I'm not going to name them, one is a film and television school and the other one um, was just basically a film school with a lot of theory. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the first one that I went to uh, first. <laughs> so this school was really great, it was uh, really old, it had been around for a very long time and it was pretty much founded on the principle that you go in and you're straight off the bat and you learn everything from scratch. And that's what I really loved about it. If you didn't know anything, this is like your beginner guide. This course went for a year and a half, but it was a fast track course. And from there I got my advanced diploma. My class was very small and I really got a feel of everything and got to learn everything um, and do a little bit of theory, but mostly practical. So with film school, normally you have your practical and your theory, just like, I don't, I don't know, if you did teaching or something like that, it's quite similar. Uh, so you learn, you know, behind the scenes kind of stuff, technical stuff, like a little bit of theory about like history of film. And that's depending on where you are as well, because in Australia, you'll obviously learn Australian history. And then you do your prac, which will be you going out and actually working on a student film set, which is not a film set by any means. And, uh, you know, just getting to put all, everything you've learned and testing it out. And what what I really liked about this first school is that's when you got to learn everything. I did sound, I did directing, I did writing, I'm really bad at writing, um, I did editing, uh, and I even did lighting, um, some like DP work, and I really liked the fact that they gave everyone a fair go, and that is definitely something to look out for. But to be honest, if you know what you want to do, that's when you can find a school that specializes in what you want to do, and I'll get to that. Uh, but what I really liked about this school is the lecturers were really cool, down to earth, really easy to approach. I just felt like I learned a lot because I went in not knowing anything but having a love for film and TV. I have to say it was a film and TV school, but primarily I just learned film, which was quite funny because afterwards I worked in TV um, for five years and now I'm doing something a little bit different, but uh, the same principles can be applied. Uh, but it is a little bit different. And another good thing about going to a film school or TV school that um, lets you learn everything and is a basic structure, uh, it's really easy for you to kind of learn what role you would like. Uh, I love editing and editing was my thing for a very long time, still is I guess, and uh, I learned there that that's exactly what I wanted to do. But that went way back in high school. I actually did um, a couple of film study classes and that's when editing was primarily what you did and that's how I got really familiar with it. So going to film and TV school really kind of put that in place for me and made me really confident with that choice but I'm really glad that I got to learn about different roles because different roles are really important in knowing how everything comes together and works and gives you such a good idea of how the industry works and what skills you need and by learning about others roles you can really figure out how you work together and collaborate properly. So I'm gonna give you the dot points. I loved this film and TV school because it was down to earth. I wasn't like it wasn't scary approachable. Um, they had different courses, so I went to the beginner course, but you could also go in for workshops that do like acting courses or like film writing weekends. Um, but I really liked the basic premise of starting off and learning everything fresh. Obviously, that goes into me loving the fact that I learned every role and yeah, just having a good vibe. <laughs> the film school I went to after this though was very very different and this is a place that you are meant to meant to i have so much to say about this place you're meant to go in um with a major which mine would would have been editing and uh kind of work on that throughout the whole time it was a fast track course just like my last course uh, but I had to use my advanced diploma to get into this. So you had to either have five years experience in the industry or I have an advanced diploma. So I got in through a fucking loophole. I don't know how. I only did a year and a half and then I got into this like school that was meant to be prestige. That course I believe was two years 
or one and a half years, kind of similar time and it was just so different. How they broke it up was they made it very like uni style, which I don't think works well for film uh, because it is so practical. And they tried to have theory classes and then um, practical classes and it all just got mixed up really easily. An obvious thing that I keep very personal <laughs> in my heart for this place is uh, they obviously had editing workshops or editing classes, whatever you want to call it. The teachers were great, don't get me wrong, but the structure was all off. Pretty much what happened is they ended up cancelling my editing workshops or editing classes because there weren't enough people who were doing editing, which was bullshit because I paid to learn that and how can they just like stop the classes but they pull the classes. Another thing I had a huge problem with was out on the field when we did our practical, um, we did this multicam uh, sitcom thing where you know you sit there and you do switching, live switching and that is the most similar role to an editor so I was planning to do live switching the whole time while other people did directing and um, DP work and you know um, first AD work, all that kind of stuff. So I was planning on sitting there doing switching, but I was told that I had to swap around and let other people do switching, which I thought was really unfair, especially because my editing course had been cut and now I'm giving directors my only practice. It was complete bullshit and I really felt like the course um, favored producers and directors and I really don't think I learned that much at all from it. So what I learned from that place is definitely the fact that if you have a role in mind that you really wanna do, make sure where you're going has good tutors and um, good speakers and good um, teachers and good people out in the field that are gonna help you progress in that role and it actually fits into what you wanna do. Uh, if I knew the editing wasn't as strong in this school, it would have been a lot different for me. And to give you some practical advice to do this, what you can do is call ahead, ask who the lecturers are gonna be, ask uh, what their background is and really get a feel for what they're gonna teach. Also ask what theory classes you, they're gonna teach. Don't let people intimidate you by telling you, hey, you're lucky if you get into this film school, blah, 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 because that is bullshit. You are there to learn, they're there to teach you and you're paying them money. So don't, like if you were doing any other course, it wouldn't be the same. I understand sometimes you need the experience or you need a different diploma to get into the next stage, but it'll be different then because you'll know what you need. But if you're starting from the bottom, make sure you do your research. Another thing to be very wary of, I don't know if normal film schools do this, but I had a situation with my latter one where I paid a lot. I paid maybe triple what I did for my first film school, which I loved, which was, it's crazy. And from that, they took my money and they made productions out of it, but then they owned all of the rights to the productions. So everything you did for practical, so all the films you did, short films, short documentaries, whatever, they actually owned the rights to that and they entered them into competitions and they didn't even tell me that I had won like an editing um, prize or just things like that. They had the right to do that and it was all marketing. So whatever you gave them money wise, they took out, they funded their the projects that you worked on, but then also they kept the rights and then they use that for advertisement because they can go and enter your film into a certain competition and then say, well, I was gonna say the name of the place. Then this school one for this, 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 and then they can put that on their brochure. So it's like this six cycle and I just don't think that I paid what it was actually worth. So my practical tips on how to win at film school is do your research, kind of realize if you want to go into a short course to learn about everything, or if you really want to do like screenwriting or something in particular, learn the best course for that. Talk to your lecturers or find out their past and um, their experience. Also figure out where the money goes for where you are attending and talk to ex-students. Uh, I would recommend possibly asking a friend of a friend because a lot of people will just bullshit you if they have an amazing, uh, you know, like an amazing graduate that they've really helped out, they're gonna bullshit you. Uh, be really careful because it is a really, it can be a really sucky place and I don't know if I've just had a really bad experience, but people can get different things out of it and that's really what film school is all about. You get what you put in, um, but also remember you're there to learn, so make sure that you're learning what is actually gonna be valuable to you. Another thing I really wanna mention is film school is definitely an optional choice. Although I do believe you need to know your shit, you also don't need to pay thousands and thousands of dollars to learn it. I know a lot of people who have done it opposite way to me where they have gone and just worked from the bottom to the top in a um, production house 
course or at a TV network and then um, gone and did some training afterwards. I wanted to make that very clear because I've never ever, I have no idea where they are actually, showed any of my two certificates in any job I've ever been in. And I've worked at two major stations and in I guess four or three production houses. So that's like a really important lesson that I learned is I really should have just stuck to the first one and just kept on my practicing and got some more like tie-ins with some short films or you know gone and did some experience just make sure that you're putting your time into what works for you and what works for your role I really hope this was interesting and um, helped you out I know it's kind of hard for me to tell you what to do and what the right choice is because uh, obviously you guys live in all different corners of the earth and all different little towns and all different big towns but I think just do your research before you go talk to anybody who's done it before and try and figure out if you want to learn a little bit of everything or if you want to learn about a role in particular I'll try and answer any questions you guys have down in the comments below if you have been to film school before which I know a lot of you guys probably have um, Feel free to share your experiences down below. I'm sure people will find them very interesting. And if you did go to a good school, let them know down in the comments what school it is. The good school I went to doesn't even exist anymore, so I'm not even gonna bother naming it. I really hope this was helpful for you guys um, and just keep hustling. <laughs> I'll talk to you very soon. Stay spooky, bye.